you know, I remember when the Hudson's building came down, you know, and that was supposed to be this amazing new beacon of change. And for us, that was literally one building coming down. You look 10 years later, probably 100 buildings have come down, 40 new ones have gone up, 30 new restaurants. That is what Detroit is, it's reinvention. And I think it's about time that we sort of let go of our old historical thing and move forward with the new world. What's going on, brother? Good to see you. Good to see you. You ready to get into some adventure? Let's do it. Let's, see Let's do it. Got you a drink? The Belt is a collective of art that exists within one alley within Detroit where they've reinvented the entire space and brought people together and amazing art. And not only bringing the art together, but art for a purpose. If you go down there, you'll get to learn about how a lot of that art is funding projects in Detroit, helping kids, and that's what Detroit is. This new, amazing group of people that are coming together with new ideas. Uh, Sapino's Pizza is located in Eastern Market. Eastern Market, A, one of my favorite places to come together as a community. Sapino's is a collective of people coming together to make great pizza. And believe it or not, that's real. Like this might even be the thinnest pizza I've ever had. And you know me. You, you eat pizza every day. I know pizza. <laughs> you know what's cool, I mean, what, what is cool about Bev is she comes from this like music collective of people that exist in the city. It's that Detroit has accepted her as who she is and now they're running forward with this great music that's coming out of the city. Let's talk about Detroit and the music scene. I mean, right now, I mean, it's always clearly through Motown and everything else been doing its thing, but I feel like right now Detroit is kind of like really pushing on some doors. Yeah, it's, it's wild because I think people are starting to realize that a lot of the, the urban sounds are from uh, Detroit engineers and producers that have been in Hollywood for this time. So it's really fun. It's fun doing shows. It's fun having actual fans in the shows. It's fun being in a room and most of the people are, already, are artists too. It's just a good, it's just a good vibe right now. So what do you think it is about the Detroit music scene that separates it from other music scenes throughout the country? Um, I would say that the people are so real. The audiences are so real. I remember uh, first starting out and people going on before me, if they don't like you, like everybody in the room will choose that time to take a smoke break. <laughs> you know how it is. Like, like that stuff, that eight mile shelter thing, that is real. Like people in Detroit will let you know if your junk is whack, they are not about to stay in there and clap for you. It's a real thing. So that makes our artists a bit tougher. Foley in Hamtramck, man. Chris, what he's doing over there. You know, he has this amazing original idea and he plops it in the middle of nowhere because he needs this massive warehouse space. And Hamtramck is sort of this beautiful place that has that. And he just pops it right down there. And the next thing you know, it's instant fun. Usually, you're talking bowling or arcade or something like that, but this is really a mixture of the two. So it's a team game. There's one team on one side, one team on the other, one football per game. Object, knock down your opponent's pins before they knock down your pins, throwing the one ball back and forth. All right, so good fall. Good and sportsmanship. That's right. right. Baker's Keyboard Lounge on the west side 
it was really the beginning of, I think, DIY before it had a cool phrase. I think it was Detroiters doing things when it didn't exist. You know, that's what Baker's is. And when you go in there, you're not getting, you know, this new place that's got new lights. They're just keeping it real and they're saying, let's keep it true to what we're about, and that's the music. The, the cool thing I always say about Detroit is it's one of those places, no matter how long you live here, you know, you're always gonna find out something new. It's really cool when you see people that aren't here every day and they come in, they just have their expectations blown away by what they thought Detroit is and what it actually is. Because people have the same old ideas of this negative place and they come and they see all these amazing things happening and I think they get inspired even if they're just here for a day. To an amazing day, man. Thank you. To Detroit. Thank you, brother.